All right, guys. I'm very excited to introduce you to a couple people today. First one is Hayes. Hey, say what's up? What's up? <laughs> Hayes is going to be working with us. I'm really, really excited for this because sometimes I just can't film at all. So Hayes is going to be joining the team. He's going to be shooting a bunch of footage for us, photos, videos, and uh, very grateful to have you here, brother. So thank you. So guys, real quick, this is Sam. How's it going? I met Sam back in June. He got me out of a situation I, when I just got my bus. Uh, that's what Sam does. Sam, what's your business? You want to tell him what you do? Yeah, so I own uh, Just Roaming Design, and we're really an off-grid specialty uh, store, so we focus in off-grid energy, but we also have full uh, woodworking and metal fabrication on site as well. Where can they find you on Instagram? Just Roaming Design. Just Roaming same, Design. Uh, same website as well, justroamingdesign.com. Right on. Yeah, All right, let's do it, man. Um, let's start, let's start down there. Let's start down there, come on. Be my first full tour of the sanctuary. So I'm excited to, to give you guys a little bit of a uh, sneak peek of everything. Because of COVID, like not being able to travel as much and like do what we do, which is have adoption events all over. After Stella passed away, I just like knew, I had a feeling like now was the time for a sanctuary. And the things that I wanted were a minimum of 12 acres or more. And I wouldn't sell for anything less. Like these were all deal, deal breakers. So 12 acres or more, um, no, no nearby neighbors and trails. There had to be some sort of trails where I could take the dogs around and uh, like probably a week before I was about to give up and be like, okay, maybe it's just not the right time. My realtor sent me this property. It was 25 acres of buildable land, right. river access. And I was like, look, I immediately drove 12 hours to see it and we got it. Yeah, so in, in here, this is the barn. That's where the llama and the pig sleep. Uh, I'll just show you inside real quick here. Yeah, and then when the dogs aren't out, I'll just leave the door open for them. Yeah. And they just go and explore. So I'll let them out in a little bit. But this is gonna be like a cabin, you know, slash office where people can crash. I wanna build something up here to like come out, like have like a chill pad up here. Let me take photos. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That side over there is going to be finished just next year. Cool. So I could almost like fence that off, but I'll probably just wait till it's all finished. And that gives me kind of, it allows me to have my time instead of rushing like I've already been doing since I got here. It gives me time to plan all this out because this is obviously a lot of usable land for animals. Um, but it's just going to be a significant amount of fencing. Yeah, and, and you're doing partial paddocks and stuff like that, so cows don't get Exactly. But it's kind of around, like in the corners, all these different areas, I, I kind of want little, uh, like a little cabin area, you know? Yeah. Um, like exactly. This flat area, which we'll, we're going to walk across in a second, but that right there behind the firewood is where the big barn is going. There's going to be a huge barn there. And then on the other side, Horses, yeah, and I'll show you. It, I mean, the the fencing for it, uh, the tree line for it. I mean, is pretty big. You'll see. It's nice. Yeah. Wait till you see the river. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, they're good dogs. Come on, guys. Come on! <laughs> it's everything I wanted, you know? Like from A to Z, it's just exactly what I wanted. No matter how big you make this barn, you'll fill it. What do you mean? Just the general rule. You'll fill whatever you have. Fill? As in, yeah, you'll use it all. Oh yeah, for sure. You could have, you know, a thousand square feet, you could have... There's just so much to do in a barn. 20,000. There's just, you can, you can make it so fun. So this, the whole tree line here, where you see the trees, th this is all gonna be fenced for the horses. And then when I wanna take them out, there's a trail down there, which we can walk to right now, actually. We can, yeah, we should, we should take this to the trail. Um, hey, let's go. Come on, guys. But yeah, so, so I'll be able to take the horses right down to the river 
when I walk them and stuff, but they'll have this whole area just to explore. Because dreams come true when you... So this is, so basically this is one of the trails. And this is like my vision. When you ask me how many dogs that I have, I mean, I could imagine just 50 dogs running around here, enjoying life. Like taking her here the same day she came out of the shelter, just imagine going from a shelter to this, you yeah. know? It doesn't matter how nice the shelter is, like whether it's a great shelter or obviously a pound, yeah. just from that to this. Like he was in a shelter for, you know, three years, adopted and returned. Now this is his home, right. you know? That's pretty rad. That's so pretty down here. Let me show you the, I want to show you the campsite. It's so green. Yeah. Oh, I know. Every time people come here, it's such a cool feeling, like without fail, and so many different types of people, introverts, extroverts, business people, chill, like people who don't care about that stuff. People always leave this place and they always tell me that they, they felt like they needed to come here. They needed to feel, feel like the place just has good energy. It's, you know, there's something about it that's good for the soul.